Hello, Gemini. Amy Energy here with your weekly tarot message. If you have not, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell if you'd like to be notified whenever I make a new video. Alright, Gemini, we are working this week with the Modern Witch Tarot deck. We also have the Next World Tarot over here to clarify, and the Rebel deck and Magical Mermaid and Dolphin Oracle. Okay, pulling out our career, our love life, and our personal. Well, we have strength on the bottom of the deck, Gemini, so... That is an absolutely lovely, beautiful energy to have over this reading this week. I feel like you are incredibly strong. You've really like overcome some challenge and really evolved here with the strength card coming out. Okay, so let's get into it. All right. Career, we have the Page of Swords coming out. So we are, you know, I feel like Gemini this week, we are starting on a new path a bit with, within our career, and we're really defending our stance, defending what it is that we believe is best for us, right? Oh, okay. Two of Swords. I don't take reversals from this deck. That's interesting. Okay, so we have the Two of Swords as our advice from Spirit. And I do feel like this is us really, you know, not really knowing which direction to go, obviously. Oh, what is going on? Why are my cards coming up? I want to check them all now. <laughs> and see what's coming up reverse. But let's go ahead. Let's just get clarifiers for these. We got to get clarifiers. What's going on, Gemini? What's going on? Your energy just coming in and turning the cards around on me. Oh, and making the King of Swords jump out of my deck like that. Yeah, I don't like jumpers. Virgo rising here. I just like to, um, you know, just have it be straight. <laughs> Actually, when they jump, it really, like, it tells me something, but it also, you know... Kind of annoys me. Alright. Oh my gosh, Gemini, what's going on? What is going on? I don't like when the card the cards get this weird energy in them. Alright, Gemini. Ooh, okay. All right, so let me get a drink of water. Mm. All right, so we have temperance with this page of swords, okay? So I feel like, especially with this version of temperance, okay, it's beautiful. You've went to the school of hard knocks, right? But you've went to school nonetheless. You've learned what you needed to learn. So you're coming out of like, you know, this is like to me coming out of like the, like a rebel without a cause. I know that's like some like old Western thing or something, but that's my grandpa, my grandfather used to call me that. And I feel like this is us like evolving from like rebel without a cause into like a rebel with a cause <laughs> okay and the cause is healing okay and this is coming up in our career so but you know with the eight of swords that's always to me means that we need to heal we need to ask ourselves what do we need to heal 
okay because right now we don't know which way to go in our career we're not we're not sure what's right for us okay the outcome is the seven of swords with the five of pentacles okay so mm, gemini and we have strength coming out over this so i do feel like we are sort of in this energy where we have sort of tamed the beast inside but we could be doing something shady for money this week because we are in a situation of turmoil five of pentacles this is a lack mindset this is you know and with the seven of swords i always say when it comes out um you know the first things first is you know you, you got to trust yourself the seven of swords is a card of strategy and when it comes out you have to trust yourself okay because we don't know who around us is shady and we don't know if we're shady because sometimes you got to be shady you know in life just you know you know that's the a plot of lots of good movies, you know, is just someone that does something bad, but they do it out of necessity, right? They had to do it. So we're familiar with this energy, and that's the energy that's coming out in the outcome. So I can read this a couple different ways. This could be you doing something shady to make money. Um, maybe you can sell some mushrooms to Virgo, um, because they need to go on a fucking trip. So, <laughs> um, all jokes aside though, this could also be you working for a shady person, like kind of just doing whatever, like little shady job you need to do to make ends meet. Oh, but it's time to move on. It's time to let go of the old and worn out so that the new can come in. Okay, and I do feel like that's what we're doing here. And it might just be that we have to do something like, you know, we might have to do something a little shady. Maybe we have to like lie to get some, like, you know, lie to get some money or like, you know, ooh, I hate to condone, <laughs> you know, to tell you to do that. But really honestly, with the seven of swords, you just have to trust yourself and you have to ask yourself, what bridges might I be burning? And you got to you got to be strategic in your actions right now. So we don't, you know, a lot of people like the seven of swords is like the worst card to ever see because it's not, you know, we don't want to do that. We don't want to be strategic and calculating, but I feel like you do need to, um, there's something that you need to do Gemini to get you onto this new path. Like, you know, it's not like the Seven of Swords is a temporary energy. It's not like you're going fully down the wrong path. It, it, the Five of Pentacles clarified it, which lets me know that we're doing something out of circumstance, out of dire need, okay? Because there is turmoil in our life. There is scarcity in our life. And so we need to do something about that. And, you know, we are... You know, we're in this energy where we do have to move on from a situation. So maybe that's, you know, here we're defending our choice. That's where we're at right now. We're defending our choice to be in this situation. But it may be, you know, spirit is saying here with this two of swords, really make sure you make the best choice for you and understand that you are potentially putting self-imposed limits around yourself right now so definitely ask yourself what is it that i need to heal the situation with career this is in regards to career okay so and it may very be very well be that what you end up doing to you know rectify the situation and get you on the right path is sort of doing something a little bit shady for money just to get by, okay? 
let's get into our love life page of pentacles okay so we have like a new beginning here in both career and love life in a, a bit you know we're rooting our intentions here with the pages earth energy and this is double earth because it is the page of pentacles so we're really grounding here in our love life all right Ooh, spirit is giving us the queen of swords as our advice our love advice so definitely do not entertain any foolishness you are a queen and you are a smart fucking queen and you know again as i always say with the queen of swords sometimes i feel like a broken record but this is us not showing empathy to anybody who would compromise our truth right so we i mean it's a queen so it's water energy so it's not that you're you're heartless or cold but you just are gonna put yourself first stand in your power and you're just gonna be honest you're not gonna ever be dishonest to save somebody's feelings no not the queen of swords okay and the four of swords is the outcome so this is us sort of processing information here with the four of swords not we're definitely in an a, a, a space that we eventually can build upon but for this moment we're just really trying to process we've just gotten to this space of a little bit of stability in our mind and now we just kind of have to sit with the information Okay, so clarifying the page of pentacles with the sun. Okay, so I do feel like right now, Gemini, the sun is really shining on us. We really, um, you know, we have something to offer and it might not, you know, it might not be a lot, right? But it's, it's really valuable and it's really something. Okay, and... You know, we've we've worked hard. I feel like we've worked hard to get to this space, okay, just because the strength card over this whole reading. So I definitely feel like the strength card is meant to be speaking to this particular energy with it being the sun and the Leo energy. And, you know, um, I just feel like this is very much you know, we've kind of, I feel like we had a rough, a rough road, Gemini. We kind of had our, we had our struggles to get to here. So we're really happy with this little bit that we've been able to salvage or this little bit that we've been able to build. We're really happy with it. Okay. And then we have the Ace of Swords coming out with the Queen of Swords. Okay. So this is clarity. So this is us really knowing what we want in love and really sitting on our throne because we only have time to entertain what's worth our energy right now, okay? And now we have the Four of Wands clarifying the Four of Swords. So we have two fours here, letting me know that the outcome is you coming into a space of stillness in a way with the four you know we're coming into a place of being safe and still and so sometimes when you reach a place of safety after a place of turmoil that's when really all of the things hit you and you really have to process all of the things that have happened while you were in survival mode right in the in the uh aces or not in the, in the swords you know i definitely am feeling this so i do feel like though we do have the four of wands harmony so there is a sense of you know coming into a place of harmony and understanding all the things, understanding all the things that have happened to us and understanding what it is that we want in our life 
and being happy with the little things. I feel like that's really what this is. This is this is really lovely, but this is us in our love life. I feel like I feel like we're not ready right now, Gemini. If this reading's resonating for you, you may not be ready to be jumping into a relationship or love. Your love life right now is about loving yourself and appreciating the little um, the progress that you've made, right? And appreciating the little things in your life that support you and make you happy because you've worked hard for them. Okay, simplify your life is coming out. Eliminate clutter from your home and work life to balance the flow of activities. Okay, so I definitely do feel that. I do feel like, you know, there is a need to cut things out that you don't need anymore. Um, and just, you know, even with the processing information with the Four of Swords, I even feel that simplify your life as far as your thoughts. Though, you know, you may be too overwhelmed with different thoughts. So definitely try to... You know, just simplify your life and focus on those simple little things. It's really lovely energy, Gemini. I really do love it. Okay, so we have justice coming out in our personal. Our advice is the hanged one and our outcome is temperance. Okay, so we got all major arcana here, Gemini, letting me know that you are in a life-changing moment right now. Not only are you in a life-changing moment, but I do feel like this is the time whenever you get justice. Justice will be served. Okay. We really need to clarify this. We really need to clarify this for Gemini. Alright. Mm-mm-mm. Yes. So you get justice, Gemini, when you follow your heart, right? This is the long walk into the future. This is you knowing where you want to go and knowing that nothing can stand in your way. No matter how long it takes to get there, you're going to go. You're going to get there and you're going to get justice, okay? We have the King of Cups clarifying the Hanged One. So I do feel here that... You know, it's an interesting energy here because with the hanged one, it's kind of a card of, you know, inaction, of not acting on anything. But the king of cups is a king. Even though it's the king of cups, it's still fire energy because it is a king. So I do feel like our advice from spirit is to take action on our healing and you know emotionally we really need to you know be able to accept where we're at you know that's the action that we're taking here is the action of accepting acceptance of anything that's happened that got us to the situation where we're in now we're accepting that and we're healing that okay and the outcome is you being this beautiful alchemist right with the temperance card and you using all of the all of the things that you have all of the information that you have and all of the tools that you have all of the elements that you have you're mixing them together and, you know, sort of creating something new out of them. And then we have the hermit to clarify, letting us know that it is right for you to withdraw from your community right now because you are, you know, now we have five major arcana coming out here, right? The only thing that's not major arcana is this beautiful king of cups. Okay, so what that's letting me know is that you 
are in a life-changing situation here, okay? And, you know, with the hermit, you really do need, you know, again, it's kind of speaking to the same energy with this page of pentacles of just, um, you know, you don't need much right now, but you have all the things that you do need, you know, like you have your candle up in the window and... You know, maybe some, what do we got here? Music, a Rubik's Cube, a little plant. Okay. So we have the things that we need to ground us. And, you know, we just sort of need to go through this process of connecting with our higher self. And, you know, potentially creating art or whatever it is that we do to express ourselves when we are, you know, away from society. Okay, and this is, you know, with the Hermit, I love the writing in this book, it does, it does ask us to believe that somebody out there misses us and that they will be ready whenever we are. Okay, so... Yes, Gemini, we have the energy of rest coming out. You've been working hard. Take a nap and get some rest. Okay, definitely get some rest. Okay, you are making progress towards your future. Your vision is um, very much aligned here with the chariot, but it's not a race. Okay, the chariot is the long walk into the future, and if you need to rest right now, which you definitely do, go ahead and do that. You definitely want to get your rest and, you know, that way you won't be burnt out whenever you are called to act upon these dreams because you most certainly will be. You are getting justice. You are a super powerful, amazing alchemist. And yes, yes, yes. Okay, Gemini. So let's get a rebel. A rebel card to go out into the week with. Cards are going all over. Come on, just one. We just need to get one more perfect hand in there. All right, we have get some fucking sleep. You are being an ass because you are fucking tired. Face to pillow now. Okay, Gemini, can you please get some fucking rest this week? <laughs> All right, you got the four of swords. That's the take a nap card, right? We got rest and we got get some fucking sleep. So please, Gemini, stop watching this right now. After you let, first, before you, before you go, like this video, subscribe to the channel, um, check out the link in the bio, book a personal with me, and follow me on Instagram, and then take a fucking nap, okay? <laughs> All right, Gemini. Um, but all jokes aside, and, and most importantly, I hope that you have a wonderful week. I love you. Take care.